So yes, finally, 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 though, of course, I'm back one really, really quick, quick, quick. Of course, talking about my video. So yeah, of course, though, we did get some new news, of course, for same day right here for 2022. I I should have recorded this. I should have had the video way done in advance. But um, I was trying to get other stuff done at the same time, though. So um. Just little stuff like that, though. Of course, though. But yeah, we did get the new saying day info for this year of 2022. So let's get started. Let's go over all info. So we're gonna get new stuff in here. And I was kind of right about the V jump stuff because we did get a new guy Goku support memory. Basically, Beerus and Goku talking about you know how Super Saiyan God transformation. Basically, Goku wanted to achieve it on his own, and Beerus was like, "Oh yeah, you're not happy about it." Basically, that's that one. Um, them just talking about God's event. It is getting a story, you know, Dragon Ball story revamp. So for version Z. They did actually add to that in that video. Rizzi had a little update where basically they added like Dragon Ball Saga story events, like um, they updated the small old story events like Battle of Gods. It's getting the second, I said third kind of revamp, but second revamp. Um, and that's having like you know cutscenes from like the super tags. I thought about guys have a little bit more though, like God Goku, Shinron coming up. Again, this is so much little stuff like that, like updated assets and stuff like that. Basically, just little stuff like that though. Um, and it's completely you know, I told him like a Dragon Ball story art style, not art style, but more a Dragon Ball story presented kind of way basically though so that's how um that's gonna be though so yeah that's kind of cool so of course we got some new saying day stuff again jp and global celebrations are pretty much the same thing just that battle of god's man is getting updated right here on jp and i think all the anniversary units like the goku chi chi boma and vegeta and of course yeah those are all coming back because of the new easy area update for goku jr and vegeta jr again this stuff we kind of already know so i've kind of gotten already though so yeah of course let's get started though of course um, we'll go for goals though, just because you know, typical stuff. So, yeah, we have vlogger bonus, special missions, very, very typical stuff. I uh, know about the Vegeta banner, which is out. I will go over that pretty quick. It's decent, it's okay. Very, very okay. Uh, the Kai banner, so that means on 31st, we'll put the Duck and Face unit for Gold Boy and JP. Um, we probably will have Golden Week. Um, sorry, but yeah, uh, we're probably gonna have um, Golden Week. Um, it looks like it's like September though, so you know, Super Dragon Ball, Super Superhero, Ultimate Gohan, Blue God, Ultimate Great Mystic, Blue Berserker, God Gohan times 500, basically. So yeah, uh, we got of course the packs. So yeah, Goldberg just have tickets. Uh, I think did they have discounts and tickets? I don't think they do, but um, I'll probably gonna go check it later. I doubt they do, but though, just because I mean it's, it's the same celebration stuff. And Gold has to be off trove. And JP has it kind of now already though anyway with their discounts and tickets so it might be in the same thing same page I don't know though Dragonstone sale uh no budget Vegeta banner I uh, use area for Goten and um Goten although I'm the same thing there are ever saying Lulu Jr. and Jr. has been updated and they are now available on global they posted these guys way up in advance I think like four months because the anniversary of global is in July yeah so right now it's March April May June July about like four months in advance, so it was pretty cool. They kind of came. I kind of like they didn't come to early for Global though, so I don't know what they're gonna do for them because this they they're supposed to come out with the new EX part, which I like somewhere around me. Other Aqua Buff. It's like a little short idea for it, just cause like had like the stamina. Um, it's like boost got increased like for five like five times the bars went up for set three. It was five, and um, and um, try to for right now, and. Uh, we got some four easy A's, and then we got this as well. So I don't know what they're gonna do for that EX part. Then uh, uh, will they like cancel it? I doubt they cancel it. There's one JP. They never change the anniversary of things. So this is kind of criticized so really big for bubble. Uh, this story runs back though, so you can get the new Major Big GS support memory. You know, I'm um, saying keeps his pride. He doesn't even say that. He just you know they kind of make that into like his own active skill thing. Uh, and I just go uh, support memory now. So probably like for Major Bruno, like him, like give the warriors or something like that. Um, yeah, like I said, you go to Junior 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 event, all the Maja Bork events are back, of course. Uh, new event about history against Great Apes. Uh, Evolution Movie GZZA, I made a whole video for him already. Uh, Super so Battle Rolls back with the new state, I think it's Worthy Rivals now. Um, Evol Master um, Evolution, I'm surprised we didn't get the new category. Um, because it's not, it's not, no, because they usually have like these, it's kind of weird, like Master Evolutions on here. Just because I came up, we have Vegeta's already with that, and this is kind of just weird. Like I said, this is the GT story event that's going to come back, so this is what I'm talking about. It's going to be totally Dragon Ball, like, you know, story, like, you know, is GT, you know, we're going to have, like, uh, like the support memory for GT Kid Goku. I doubt they put that in there because they didn't mention it at all, but they could put that in there. I, I doubt it, though, but the, again, this story event came, and this came um, during the Kid Boo and Goku event. Which makes sense because you know after that you know that's basically the ending of the boo slash go quite even though their their intro their attacks are like basically when they begin the fight though so 
Um, they, I mean, they're okay. The animations are okay, but this is when we got that um, Jesus Goku's foot memory where he's Goku's a kid again. And of course, the chain battle for um, Boba JP is gonna be um, against Majin Buu. Good. So, which makes sense because you know Buu Saga and stuff like that. So yeah, and like I said, JP celebration is the same. Just got the guy Goku one. So yeah, basically it's kind of the same thing. Just Goldboy didn't get the um, guy Goku um, support memory. I feel like the shit guys that just go because I've listened to the videos on here. Probably, I don't know what they're gonna say that for. Again, Goba kinda like mix match some stuff up here for Saiyan Day though. So um yeah. Again, they kinda just mix match so I just added some stuff here and there though. But um not bad of a celebration. This is decent. It's really decent. Again, last year was a little bit better just because the Broly the it Broly was really good. And they put him on his banner though. Was actually, he's actually way better. Just again, I don't care about size. Even now, literally a year later now, that Broly is still really good though, so I don't know in my opinion though. But yeah, in general, um yes. Saying it is here, not that bad for a decent celebration. It's actually pretty good though, of course though. Um but yeah, this is the Majin Vegeta banner. No, this is the new guy. Yeah, it's basically this is what I was talking about. They're gonna add this to the um story event so they can um you know have like animated like cutscenes um you know take the active skills and stuff like that of course and make those like the informations like here's this rage though that can probably be one um when he goes like one rage uh this is new module vegeta banner they actually had to take a good year on here so they came back a little early for global so um yeah i mean the banner isn't that bad i got evolution with vegeta got a good easy a uh part too easy for this guy just gonna make it of course, again, you even, even got past same day units on here. We got Tanabata 2020 for this guy. We got same day 2022. We got same day 2021. Uh, 20, 20, 2019, I think. 2018. So, yeah, um, and yeah, this is just all past same day units. Which, again, like, Gogeta is really good. We really don't need him, though, but he's still good. Bajor Vegeta is good. Emperor is really good. This Vegeta is decently still good. Now, he has to go to his EZA. You need EZA, because a lot of people that you suck now. He's probably the best, one of the best ET or EZAs in the game now. I agree, they did uh, update him just a little bit, added some new stuff here and there, but this video is still really good. That's where I kind of put him as. He's he's really, really good. I knew they were going to make his easy aid disgusting anyway, because even before he got easy aid, he was still good. They updated him with just a little bit, because again, they really didn't need to add, like, too, too much for his easy aid, which I am kind of glad they didn't do, do that. Though. But yeah, a bear is okay. You really don't need to summon it. Can, I'm probably going to skip just because, but if you really are going to summon it, you could throw a couple stones at this, because Majin Vegeta is good. You're good. You're good. You're good. The bear is decent, though, but I know a lot of people are going to be mad about the Bardock, because he sucks. Vegeta Hound on sucks. This Vegeta Hound on sucks. His ghosts and trucks are okay. He just... I don't know, I'm probably gonna skip maybe, or I might, yeah, I probably am just gonna skip, just cause I don't really feel it. Again, if you want to summon, if Majin Vegeta is your favorite character, if you want to summon, go ahead, I'm not gonna stop you though, again, literally, if you want to summon, go ahead, just saying, if you want to go summon, go ahead. Uh, this is the new Infinite Dragon Ball History, actually, my camera, but, um, I feel like I'm, um, who I actually need to, let's get this back up, but yeah. Um, that was really good. Was a little bit. Uh, of course, we got um, the new great ape. I thought it was going to normal. We got all the great apes. Um, we have a, um, a new Infinite Dragon Ball history stage. Uh, this great easy is here for JP. Is the Goku of uh, Vegeta, AJ of Vegeta, and Raditz. Again, they're all pretty much the same exact unit, though. Nothing like crazy or whatever. Vegeta does have a little. Vegeta does have a little bit different of a stat, different stat buff. Just because, you know, it's 80% instead of 60%. Again, they're all pretty much the same unit. They're all decently good. They're good. Um, I did made a whole video for them already on JP, though, so you can get my full thoughts there. Uh, this is new. There's a bug apparently going on with Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. Hidden Potential System because they're going to get easy A. It definitely makes sense because the Hidden Potential System, the new stage were added in the file for the new event. So basically, yeah, that's um, what was going on, though. So you got to fix that. Uh, this is new support memory. Of course, the GS Pride, you can get it from the um, new Roger Burak stage. Uh, new wallpaper for Global and JP, of course, is the, um, the, um, Tower art for, um, Vegeta. It looks very, yeah, manga Dragon Ball Super. So basically, Bungie Vegeta was in, drag in the manga, like, for Dragon Ball Super, pretty much. And they brought it back. This is really sick. That was really good. Really good detail, really good shading, really good, um, you know, effects. Um, really good. Again, if they had, like, an aura in the background, it would have been pretty cool. But this is very simple, very easy, very clean, very nice, very detailed, really good stuff, though. Uh, this is the um, story event, so, well, of course, for Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. This is the EZA update, and this is the new Barak EZA. So, yeah, he got his EZA, uh, which is right 
here. Again, they just uh, made him, again, he's a free play unit. He's really good. Again, my full thoughts, opinions on him already. He's good, though. Again, for a free play unit, he's decently good. All the two product units are really good. I do three EZA slash updates, and that's, again, pretty decently good for him, though, overall. So, yeah, not a bad for product, though, this time around, though. I mean, yeah, Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr., they're pretty okay. They updated them just a little bit, though. Just adding, like, you know, because, again, they're probably the best little skill for, like, World Tournament. They're really good, though. Decently good super attack effect. Yeah, like, have, like, I think the max they can get really up for, like, free play. Like, defense, like, really, like, 150, though. 150,000. Um, but, yeah, I mean, compared to nowadays, all the units that I got updated and stuff like that, they're pretty okay, though. Like I said, nothing like, oh, my gosh, I'm making Chad crazy, though. But they're decently okay. Again, just a unit I really did want as LR for a long time. It's kind of crazy, so it's weird, because I did, like, the idea of Goku and Vegeta Descendants as, like, you know, a unit and stuff like that, like, an LR unit like this, like, end of the anniversary, you know, like, the final thing for, like, Dragon Ball GT, like, GT's ending and stuff like that, you know, the ending of Dragon Ball Forever, I only went for, like, what, 25 years? Then we got Super again? Yay! Yeah, but, um, they're decently okay, though. Again, nothing, like, oh, oh, crazy, but they updated them just a little, little bit, though. But Evolution Blue Vegeta, on the other hand, I mean, they're okay. Again, there's nothing left to really far home about. They're gonna be good for, like, you know, I don't know, like, free play events and stuff like that. Again, LR, free LR, free LR, I don't care, I'll take that W. But yeah, yeah, Gold was 100th LR. <laughs> I just gave that first, but yeah. Um, but yeah, that'd be Gold would have been pushing back LRs back to back just because the celebrations have these LRs, like, STR Gohan, Kid Gohan. Uh, for Super Vegeta and like AJ Trunks having his like yellow EZA, so a little stuff like that. Um, but yeah, and he's like a uh, 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 update pretty much every month, so yeah. Um, we take Tokyo's EZA on my brother. I doubt it though, just because Tech Cell is really, really good. Um, but yeah, of course, um, Evolution with Vegeta again, they updated him just a little bit. As I say, again, that little update did help him out a lot. I know a lot of people really want to get their skill to be 180 and got a guy mad about it a little bit though, but he's still good, he's still good in my opinion. Um, great leader skill, um, great effects and stuff like that, of course, you know, like I said, I knew they were going to make him disgusting, though, so I doubt, like, I was like, they're not going to make him too, too OP, though. Add just a little bit to his passive and stuff like that, of course, but he is still good. They actually did change the transformation, uh, condition down here, up to 40% now. Um, for me, even, like, my, sh like, videos, like, my, um, Duncan videos, like, if you can go back and see some of my transformation videos, because I thought, like, I actually, like, do some of the transformations. They did change, yeah, because before, for me, I was getting a transformation 24-7. For me, though, specifically, I always got a transformation no matter what, though. Like, every video, pretty much, always got um, evolution transformation. Oh, that's just me, though. I felt like that was, I know, because it was uncommon, rare, but he's still pretty good, though. And, of course, on Tomato Vegeta, he's a really good unit. He is really worth, like, to get. I know it's, like, his active skills kind of bad condition, but it does make sense, because Boo was on him, handing him down for attack after attack until Goten and Drunks came in, though. But it's good. Good passive, good links. Um, they did add him to a couple more categories. Um... Uh, connected help, um, all out struggle, and I think final trump card. So they added him to more categories, which is really disgusting when we get there. So yeah, uh, get him, STR Maja Vegeta, the physical one. You, you can make the whole like blue arc team, get to worry. His team is gonna be really good. Great little skill, great passive. Overall, good W for Saiyan Day 2022 for this unit this year and last year. Broderick was good when he first came out because I was thinking about this for the video. I was like, what did I say for all the past Saiyan Day units? Because Broderick, ATL Broderick was actually. Really good. Like he had, well, he came out that the beers tier, the Kepler tier, basically when he came out back in what, 2019, 2020, early, um, late early 2020. Um, so yeah, that was actually um pretty good though for him though there. So um yeah, and Game of is really good. I think he's really good though. I think he's really worth it to get though. But I think waiting for him to come back on a better. And Guns and Trucks are okay. I didn't really think of them that much though. Again, they're they, again they only really. When they start attacking off for the first time, they're really good though. But overall, I mean, Mighty Vegeta is still good though. I think he's a really good unit to work summoning on. If you want summoning, go ahead. Again, there's barely any units on the banner. I know there's LR on there, which does make it tougher just because the banner with the LR nowadays is just really, really tough to get on. But if you manage to pull Mighty Vegeta, which I've seen a lot of people already pull one, he's worth it to get though. Um, but yeah. Sorry. Yeah. But yeah, they're gonna go ahead and build that for sure, though. So, yeah. Um, Saturday 2022? Pretty good, dub. Um, I forgot to stop way, like, back up, though. But yeah, Saturday 2022? Um, good W, I'll get to L, but really good W there. So, yeah. Um, yeah, good banner, good units. Um, yeah, we got enough to really say that. But yeah, uh, if you want some more Majin Vegeta, like I said, go ahead, go nuts if you want to, but. Again, we still got, you know, Golden Week, we might have your for Golden JP, you know, celebrating the Dragon Ball Super Superhero Ultimate Gohan celebration or whatever, though. But, um, yeah, um, yeah, very decent and stuff like that, of course, like I said, though, um, I don't know, just 
Yeah, I mean, if, again, like I said, Gogeta's on here. Broly's on here is a really good unit. You're a really good unit. You're a really good unit. Again, you got some really good value in here. But there's an LR in the bear, so just kind of be careful, though. So, yeah. See you guys later, though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Great luck. All we're doing. Good day. Make sure you stay safe. Wash your hands. God bless all of you. Going out. Don't wear a mask. No toilet paper. If you really, really need to, um, get vaccinated if you can. Please not sell any toilet paper. I'm just kidding, though. Of course, please. So yeah, what do you think about all those people though? Of course, like you hate it again. Very good W. I know Goldman Jiffy Shaft, you know, this we didn't get tech tech guy go to the support member from B jump. Uh, you know, um yeah. Even JP got the grape, so even though it came really, really, really late, even though Goldman the guy who was so battle of stage with Goldberg got that already though. Um but yeah, um very good W slash win for Goldberg from around though. So yeah, I'm not gonna be in the video for sure though, because I got another video I'm gonna probably record that piece though, so yeah. See you guys later though, you know. So...